Hello everyone, welcome back to the show. In today's news, royal family. Will Meghan Markle still be royal if she and Prince Harry divorced? Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are always in the news. Anything that they do is publicized and criticized. Ever since the start of their whirlwind romance, people have been skeptical about whether their love between them is actually legitimate or not. Though the couple often look genuinely happy to be together, there are plenty of naysayers who claim that Meghan married into the royal family for alternative reasons. How did Prince Harry and Markle meet? The two were set up by a mutual friend on a blind date. The pair met in July of 2016. By May 2018, they were married, and this past May, they just welcomed their son and first child, Archie Harrison Mountbatten-Windsor, into the world. Royal Marriage Protocol Though it may have seemed like the Duke and Duchess of, Su of the Duke and Duchess got married quickly, there is actually a lot that goes into a royal marriage. First of all, Queen Elizabeth II had to approve of the union. When Prince Harry wanted to marry Markle, it was widely suspected that the Queen would actually use her power to shut down the union. There were a lot of reasons why the Queen may not have wanted them to get married. Markle had already been married once before and, in, and is American. Two strikes that don't look great for a British royal. But there are actually no reasons that state that a royal cannot marry another one, person from another country or even that they have to marry someone else of aristocratic status. So the Queen approved their union and the two were wed. Will Markle still be royal if they got divorced? Divorces aren't as uncommon in the royal family as you might think. There have been a number of royals who have been divorced themselves, as well as married people who were, were divorced. Edward VII gave up his throne in order to marry divorced American so socialite Wallace Simpson in 1936. Prince Charles famously split from his wife, Princess Diana, in 1996 and went on to marry his mistress, Camilla Parker Bowles. And Prince Andrews divorced his wife, Sarah Ferguson, in 1996. As Diana Ferguson gave birth to royal heirs, they still remained members of the royal family, even after their divorces. Now that uh, Markle has given birth to Archie, who is currently seventh in line to the throne. She will remain royal no matter what happens between her and Prince Harry. And that is all for today's episode. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, leave a like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.